also a good tip for saving money when you go on holidays to get all of your toiletries in advance all your lotions and potions make sure you buy them at home you get all those three for two deals at boots and home bargains or wherever it is you go and you don't have to spend over the odds actually in the resort that you're going to or even worse at the airport have you ever bought toiletries at an airport I bought some toothpaste at Abu Dhabi airport when we were there on a layover for a few hours it cost me 15 pounds 15 quid I had to get a second mortgage for that and the worst thing was that we used the toothpaste, the £15 toothpaste, which wasn't gold plated or anything, it was just normal Colgate toothpaste, got on the next flight, got some for free. One of the best ways to save money on a holiday is to go outside of the school holidays so you're not paying that premium that they put on there. I know that's not possible for everyone and I'm privileged as the father of a toddler. If you also have toddlers, you should feel privileged too and remember the next time you do that thing where you squeeze them and go oh never grow up you're so cute you probably actually really mean it because it's going to save you a lot of money if they're forever preschool age oh little girl please stay just as you are never grow up and never go to school is that all right yeah. yes Choosing the destination is important. Popular places are more expensive. You can get some really good bargains at places that are less popular, like I went to Vilnius recently, the capital of Lithuania. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, absolutely gorgeous. And it was a bargain. It was cheaper than, from me, where I live in Yorkshire, going to London for the weekend. It's a bit of a no-brainer. So why not go somewhere like Vilnius or uh, Lombok, which is meant to be like Bali, but without the prices and with fewer tourists or maybe you could go somewhere that people don't go for other reasons like um like midsummer you know you probably only need a one-way ticket there really the best tip for getting a good deal on a holiday is to go direct to the place that you want to stay you may think oh no but i know a great cheap deal site they don't always have the best prices if you go elsewhere you'll probably overpay even price comparison websites you think that they take the list of every price there is possible they don't they don't have everything those robots that run those price comparison websites they don't have all the information at hand and would you trust a robot really anyway to book your holiday hi i'm looking for a deal on a room at the holiday inn please i will destroy you puny human is that okay uh, no, I don't think I'll be taking that one. So what you need to do, say you want to book a room at the Holiday Inn, if you're part of the IHG Rewards Club, you will get your cheapest price possible if you go direct to them. You just ring up, you just ask for it. Hello, Holiday Inn. Oh, hiya. Can I have a deal on a room, please? Yes. Oh, and one last thing. Um, if my wife asks how much I pay, can you say it was a lot more than I actually did? Because otherwise she'll sort of expect flowers and stuff as well. Of course. Brilliant, thank you. So if you're booking to go to the Holiday Inn, it's IHG.com. Go direct, get the cheapest price. Find out more on Twitter at IHG Rewards Club. Do you have any other money saving tips for holidays? Can you save the families of this country cash when they go abroad or even within the same country? Let me know about it. Stick it in the comments under the video. Thank you very much. And I hope that I've saved you a few quid. If I have, maybe send me a fiver. No, I'm not allowed to do that. Okay, okay. Just forget the fiver. Just give this video a like and subscribe.